Hey there, this is Brendan from Gongs Unlimited, and today I'm here to talk about and introduce uh, something we're hopefully going to start doing more around here, which is comparison videos of our different gongs. We're talking chow gongs, the classic gong that you see in your mind's eye when you picture a gong, most likely. We're going to look at three of the most popular sizes that people buy for chow gongs. 26, a 32, and then a 38. Um, and we're going to look at the ways that they differ, the ways that they don't differ, and what makes each one of them unique, and how do you know which one is the right one to purchase for all your gonging needs. So we're going to play a clip of each gong being played by the same exact mallets, and we'll put timestamps down so you can skip between them, hopefully, so you can get a good idea of what makes each one of those gongs unique. And then I'll give a wrap-up at the end about what I heard, uh, or what we heard here at Gongs Unlimited from in the studio, hearing the gongs in person. So, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you at the end of the video.
the the biggest thing that I'd say is a difference between these gongs is in the jump from a 32 to a 38. Um, and it applies to a 38 and above, really. Once you get into that really big gong territory, less and less does the response of the gong seem to come from your mallet, and it feels more like your next move is going to be in response to what the gong is doing. And by that I mean that there's a, a, a feeling when you jump up to the 38 that uh, every hit you do takes on a life of its own and that there will be bursts in sound that don't quite correspond to exactly when you hit it. And the, those layers, the layers of the high overtones and then the whooshing uh, mids and the sub bass, they, they start to feel more disjointed in a very good way. They start to feel like they take on a life of their own and that it really adds to the washing effect, to that like mind cleansing effect of a gong to have all of those layers feel like they're moving independently of one another and it feels less like you're the one playing the gong and more that you're the one that's just trying to uh, set the gong off on its own journey um, and so that's maybe more of an esoteric thing but I think that is something that um, anybody who purchased this would pick on, up on is is that difference because even though it sounds very subtle and perhaps a little ooh, it, it, it is a concrete thing that it doesn't feel like every you know when you hit the 32 the 26 it feels like when you hit the gong um, at that very moment all of those sounds restart again um, and you're controlling the uh, the rhythm but it, with the 38 it, it becomes its own soundscape for, for more concrete differences, the smaller gong, uh, the 26 in particular, crashes earlier than the um, 32 and the 38. Um, and the, the, the 38 it takes a little more in general to get it, to bring it to a crash. But the 26, if you like that, um, if you like to keep your gong at a maybe a, a louder tone or a... Um, bigger washing sound with the high tones coming out um, it's it's easier to get that with less force with the 26 for sure and the 26 and 32 they also have a bit more of um, maybe a classic gong wallop when you give it a nice single hit you can get a little more dynamic range out of a single hit um, with the smaller ones probably because it takes a little less to get them started um, whereas the 38, you get a smaller explosion with any single hit. Um, but when you work it up, obviously it is the bigger gong, and so it's going to develop a deeper sub bass, and it doesn't lose any of those high frequencies. Um, so when once it is developed into its loudest state or into a crash, it, it has the it simply has the largest dynamic range, of course, because it is bigger, has a deeper sub bass. But the smaller ones, I think, can access that dynamic range early from, earlier from what I was able to hear. Uh, just a single hit and you can get a, a nice wallop and a little bit of a, a fizzle out of the mids, the highs, the lows, you know, without much um, work coming from your end. Whereas the big one, you got to, um, it, it, need, it needs to breathe a bit and it, it takes, takes some time to get it worked up to that state. I hope you feel like you learned something when it came to comparing these gongs. And I hope to see you around for the next time we do one of these. But it might not be me. It might be one of the other folks around here at Gongs Unlimited. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a great day.